Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at using digital assets inside of your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. Now, as right now, it's the middle of November of 2022, so this definitely may change as time goes on because right now it actually is a little bit clunky in how you have to do this. So let's come into our settings, and then we are going to go here to our assets. And we're going to go to our downloads, what was known as digital assets in, in uh, 1.0. And then we can come over here and we can say we want to upload a file. And that's pretty simple. You can uh, click on this to upload a file. I do believe if you had one on your desktop, you could pull it over and drop it in. But let's just go here to our upload folder. And we can come into anything here. I don't know what I have in here for PDFs at all, if anything. Let me see if I got anything in here that looks like a PDF. If not, okay, here's one right here, Five Secrets. I don't know where that came from, but we can upload that PDF into our file. And so right now, did it do anything? I don't know. So let's click on this again. Scroll all the way back down here where we found that PDF. And uh, where did it go here? So we're going to do that. We're going to click on Open again. Let's see what happens, and we're getting absolutely nothing at this point as far as any kind of activity showing that we got anything going on. So that's how you're supposed to be able to upload it. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And um, so we'll cancel out of this, and we'll go to one that I have existing in here, so maybe it's not working today for some reason. And so here's kind of the weird part about how this works. What you have to do is you got to come over here to this download the current file. You need to right click on it and you need to copy the link address. Because if I click on this right here, what it does is it actually downloads it and you see it dropping down here into the left hand corner. If we click on upload a file, that gives us apparently the ability to upload a file into here, which I already have, so I'm not quite sure why that is in there. And then we don't want to remove the current file because it's the only one I currently have. And so now we're going to go bounce back out of here and we're going to come down to a funnel page, but it could be any kind of page. It doesn't matter where you put this. And we're going to go into this funnel page itself. And so we're just going to use this button right here on the page. We will open that up and it says here, open the pop-up. We do not want to open the pop-up. We want to go to and we want to have a custom URL and we are going to drop in this link and we do not want it to open in a new window because what we want to happen is when somebody clicks on this link, we want to have the same effect that we had before is that it drops it down here to the bottom of the page. So let us save this page and then we will preview it. And so now when we click on this button, if it works right, and it did, it came down here and it dropped that PDF right down there to the bottom. So that's exactly what we want it to do. It does not open it up. It actually just drops it down to the bottom of the page. And of course, we can do the exact same thing here for um, a text element as well. We can just uh, click on the link to make this a link here. We can drop that in. And then again, the same thing. When we come back in here now, we'll be able to click on that that uh, text element right there, which has been turned into a link, and then we will be able to download the PDF. So that is it. That is how you can allow your customers to download their PDF. And of course, you can do the exact same thing as take that link that we copied, put it into an email, and then uh, send them that email. When they click on the link on that email, then it will... At that point, I would think it would have to open up the PDF because if we had this here, let's say I clicked on a link and we put that in and I hit enter at this point here. Oh, no, what it does is so what it's going to have to do when they click on the link in the email, it'll have to open up a browser, whatever the default browser is on your device. It'll open up that browser and it will drop it down here as a download onto the page. Um, on whatever it opens up, the new tab that it opens up. So like I said, it's a little bit clunky right now, but as far as I know, that's what you have to do to be able to work with digital assets here, middle of November in 2022. So if you've got any questions, just let me know.